Greetings, and welcome to Sunday Morning Devotional and Bible Study, brought to you by Bay Branch Primitive Baptist Church in Claxton, Georgia. Each week we bring you a devotional message from the current lesson in the Primitive Baptist Bible Study Guide. Now, grab your Bible, here's our pastor, V. Vernon Eckleberry, with today's message. Greetings. The title of our lesson this morning is The Law Grows Up. That's from lesson one in a series entitled The Sermon on the Mount. After 14 to 15 centuries between Moses and Christ, the law finally came of age. It matured. It grew up. Let's look first of all at the commandments, God's rules for living. God's creation functions according to physical laws that he built into it. Gravity, motion, thermodynamics, inertia. Without these laws in place, there would be nothing but chaos. Now God created man to be governed by laws also. And as with nature, when laws for humanity are violated, man becomes dysfunctional. Number two, let's look then at God's written law. To repair humanity, God wrote his rules for living on tablets of stone and gave them to Moses. That's where we get the phrase, it's written in stone. That means it's absolute. Well, all of God's laws and precepts are derived from the Ten Commandments. And the commandments are found in Exodus 20, verses 2 through 17, if you'd like to go back and review them in your Bible. Well, these laws work perfectly, and they are a remedy to all human malfunctions. And this is why the psalmist wrote in Psalm 19, 7, the law of the Lord is perfect. Well, we ask then, why does humanity still fail? Well, it's simple. The law is perfect, but humankind is not. But that's not the end of the matter. We look now, number three, at Jesus and the law. To properly understand the Sermon on the Mount, we must begin with Matthew 5, verses 17 and 18. Jesus said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Now that word fulfilled comes from a Greek meaning completed, finished, to reach maturity. To emphasize this further, Jesus said in verse 19, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now that word break, to break one of these, means to fall short of its purpose. Now fourthly, we'll look then at the spirit of the law. Paul wrote in Romans 7, 14, For we know the law is spiritual. Jesus illustrated the difference between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law when he encountered a rich young ruler in Luke 18. We read, And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus then recited what we might call the law in its infancy. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. Well, that is no problem, the rich young ruler said. He said, and then all these laws I have kept from my youth up. Then Jesus shows him the difference between the letter of the law and the spirit or the intent of the law. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing. Sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. But the rich young ruler's religious beliefs were based on the letter of the law, 
rather than the spirit or intention of the law. So we read further, and when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. When Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God. Now to understand and live by the law of God, it must be viewed spiritually. The commandments must be removed from the tablets of stone and written on the heart. We read in Hebrews, God promises, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. The Sermon on the Mount does not annul the commandments. It fulfills them. It interprets them in light of the spirit of the law, its original intent. For instance, we read in verses 21 and 22 of Matthew 5, Jesus said, Well, you've heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. Now that's the letter of the law. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Now that's the spirit of the law. That's the grown-up version of the law. Now your assignment this week is to read the commandments in Exodus 21 through 17 and then read Matthew 5 beginning at verse 21. When you compare the law in its infancy with the law grown up, you can understand and apply God's rules for living to your life. And you also can live the blessed life that Jesus promises in the Sermon on the Mount. Now, may God be with you till we meet again. As you try, Thank you for joining us today. Be with us again next week as we bring you the current lessons from the Primitive Baptist Bible Study Guide. We invite you to worship with us Sundays, 11 a.m. at Bay Branch Primitive Baptist Church, 393 Bay Branch Church Road in Claxton, Georgia.